Hello and welcome to our How to Use the ANSYS Material Calibration app video. Now we're going to go through the six steps for materials calibration. The OneMI app for material calibration can be found in GrantMI, integrated along with the rest of GrantMI apps. You can access the app from the main menu. The start screen where you get to select data from your Granta MI database. You can then choose a single model or multiple models for calibration. In the 2022 R2 version, we are supporting all hyperelastic models for ANSYS Mechanical. You can then plot the selected data on an XY chart. Based on the data you selected, you're given a list of all material models that can be fitted to the plotted data. You can choose a single model or multiple models for calibration. In this example, we are going to select Mooney Rivlin five parameter and polynomial form third order. Once selected, it'll populate automatically all the coefficients needed for these models along with its units. You also have options to fix certain coefficients or provide max min values if needed. You can then hit the calibrate button and choose key parameters like algorithm type, iterations and so on for calibration. You can also add comments about the calibration for future reference. You can now see the calibrated results along with its residual or R squared values to determine how well it fits to the curve. You can also see all the calibrated coefficients for the selected material models. You can edit those values and replot them if needed. Once you're happy with the calibrated coefficients, you can then export the data into your Grant MI database. You can also add comments about the calibration for future reference. Now you can select an existing record within your Grant MI database or record a new record with these calibrated coefficients. Once the data is inside your Grant MI database, you and your organization can access that data inside ANSYS Workbench for use in simulation using Grant MI gateways.